Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am super excited for this video because we are going to be playing with the new Halloween collection from Odin's Eye and Angelica Nikvist. They are coming out with two different eyeshadow palettes and also five different lippies, so I thought in today's video we could go through and do swatches of every single shade of the eyeshadows and then we can also do some lip swatches of the lippies so you can see what they look like on my skin tone. This collection is launching September 20th, so I will have all the details listed down below and if you're curious I do have an affiliate code with Odin's eye it's just Amy loves but it does not apply to collab products so it won't be applicable to this collection but if you add anything else non collab related to your cart you can save a little bit of money with my code Amy loves so now let's go ahead and dig on into everything I feel like I just need to show you both of the palettes up close because they are stunning so there is the little ghost palette and you guys the packaging on this the theming the art is just so, so stunning. I love it. This is a really cute kind of pastel mixture of some purple, some blue, and some coral. I think it looks stunning right off the bat. This shade right here, Boo, is just like screaming towards me. And we have the Trick or Treat palette, which again, packaging is beautiful. And I feel like this is a little bit more of the traditional Halloween colors with the orange and the green. Angie did say this is like her version of a neutral palette or like trying to give you some softer options, but I feel like you could definitely go very, very fun with this or you can, you know, go a little bit more laid back. I feel like this quadrant right here is calling to me the most. It is so stunning, like the browns and the mints, but I can't wait to see how everything swatches. And then like I said, there are five different lippies. Again, the packaging is super, super pretty. It just says Odin's Eye and Angelica, and it's like this purple, yellow, like orangey ombre moment happening. I think we should swatch Little Ghost first because I feel like this is my favorite item from the collection just on first glance. It looks so Stunning. So first we have the shade Banana Taffy, which is a like neon yellow matte. We have Little Ghost, which is just like a really true purple matte. We've got Ominous, which is basically the same like tone, same color, but just like a metallic version. And then we have Licorice, which is a really pretty deep matte plum. Those first three shades are giving LSU. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys know, normally swatches with my pinky do not do as well as swatches with any other finger, so I'm gonna build that up a little bit more. But I was trying to do four fingers instead of three because we have so many things to swatch. Next we have the shade Skeleton, which is a really, really light pastel with like <laughs> the cutest pumpkin imprint. It's like a pastel white with like a tiny little bit of a purple undertone to it. And then we've got Zombie, which is like a lavender metallic purple, super pretty. We've got Boo, which is this like pinky blue purple kind of iridescent duochrome. It has it has a base to it, but it's a little bit more sheer and it just looks very, very shiny and shifty. And then we've got Haunted House, which is a really pigmented blue matte. I'm also terrified of Haunted Houses. Like, that's just not my vibe, but I think that it's cute. It's a cute name. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Like I said, I don't know if you guys can see how beautiful that is because it is sheer, but it has so much sparkle to it. Next we have the shade Cobweb, which looks to be like a white with a little bit of like a yellowy undertone to it, more of just like a satin. I love these kind of shades for my inner corner or to use as highlighter. We've got Ghoulish, which is a pastel kind of just baby blue. We've got Creepy, which is a really pretty blue metallic. And then we've got Haunted, which is another blue matte, but it's a little bit more on like the muted side. I really like the tone. Ooh, that's so pretty. Now we've got some really warm tones. So we've got Magical, which is such a pretty shade. It's like this pinky, orange, green, gold, multi-chrome, super, super beautiful. There is the shade Candy Corn, which is a bright orange. And then we've got Screech. Ooh, okay, so that's 
like a very creamy shade. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but it's a really beautiful, like orangey coral metallic. And then lastly, we have the shade Broomstick. I love the name, which is a red brown kind of warm shade. I really like that shade Magical. So there is the entire little ghost palette swatched out. I think it looks really, really pretty. I love the tones, I love the sparkles. I do feel like Odin's Eye does a really good job at having consistent quality and I can definitely see that here. Now moving on to the Trick or Treat palette. So starting off, we have the shade Mummy's Curse, which is a really beautiful, kind of soft yellowy shade. I love shades like this. I don't know if I'm crazy. Does it look like it has like a tiny little shift to it? It's very subtle, so I don't know. I don't know, am I imagining things? <laughs> is it the mummy's curse already working? Next we have the shade Howl, which is a like mustardy yellowy brown. I love. We've got Full Moon, which is another yellow, but this one's a little bit like more intense and it has a bit of a shift running through it, just super, super pretty. And then we've got the shade Goblin. Actually, you know what? I might like this palette even more. I just, I feel like that row just sold me. That is such a cute look right there. That's so pretty. Next we have the shade Wicked, which looks like a really light, just like kind of white shade. It looked for a second there like it had sparkles in it, but I think it's just what fell down from Mummy's Curse when I was swatching it. We've got Jack-O-Lantern, which is a super bright orange, definitely brighter than Candy Corn in the previous palette. We've got Deadly, which is like, oh, ooh, my goodness. Okay, you guys, this is like the prettiest rusty orange shade. Just stunning. We've got Candy Apple, which is a bright orange toned red. That is beautiful. Next we have Poison, which is a really bright, like neon green matte. We've got Witch's Brew, which looks like a multi-chrome. It's like this blue, green, turquoise shifting shadow, just super, super bright. We've got Trick or Treat, like this like reddy berry shade with sparkles running through it. And then we've got Vampire Fangs, which looks like just a true matte brown with like a little bit of warmth to it. So pretty, and that's a very thick multi-chrome. Next we have Crypt Keeper, which ooh, is like a very intense green blue shade, but I don't know if you can tell, it is super, super thick and definitely like a little bit more chunky. I feel like I picked up so much in one swipe. We've got Cauldron, which is an olive green matte. Cemetery, which is like a mauve rosy brown, super pretty. And then last but not least, we've got Magic Potion, which is a mint shimmer. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so I definitely like both palettes and like I thought that Little Ghost was gonna be my favorite, but after swatching this one out, I feel like it just is like, something just stole my heart out of it. It's so pretty. Okay, so for lip swatches, let's start off with the shade Radioactive, which is a glow finish. So I'll do a little swatch for you guys. It looks like it has just a little bit of like a yellowy orange undertone. So you can definitely see that undertone on my lips. I don't think it looks weird. It kind of just makes my lips look a little bit more peachy. Next, we have the two different shine finishes. So we have the shade Quicksand. I feel like to me, this is like a very caramel shaded gloss. Oh, you can definitely see how much more opaque it is. I feel like it smells like something and I can't quite put my finger on what it is. All right, so there is Quicksand. Next we have the Spectral shade. This is more of like a rosy brown shade. 
Ooh, that's so pretty. That's definitely like a perfect like my lips but better shade for me. So there is Spectral. Now getting into the matte shades, we have the shade Swamp Frog, which I think is such a cute name. It looks like a really thick kind of moussey texture. It's a really beautiful brown. It looks very velvety, like it immediately reminds me of the way the Lisa Eldridge velvets look, even though it's a liquid matte lipstick versus like a lipstick in a bullet. So there is Swamp Frog, I love it. Lastly, we have the shade Shadow Creature, which is another matte, just kind of like moussey, thick formula. This one's definitely more on the red side, kind of reminds me of Dose of Colors Brick. Such a pretty finish. Not gonna worry too much about getting that perfect because I don't want it to dry down all the way. So there is the shade Shadow Creature. And there's what they all look like swatched out together. You guys, I'm gonna have to label this video a swatch party because the worst thing possible just happened. I filmed this entire eye look and I didn't hit record. So I will walk you guys through what I did really quickly, show you what I used, but yeah, I'm so bad at myself right now. So I used only the Trick or Treat palette on this eye look because I think it is so, so stunning and I just could not help but try out a look using this top row. So I used the shade Mummy's Curse on my inner corner and then kind of brought it up into my crease a little bit. I used the shade Howl throughout my crease and then I used the shade Goblin to deepen up my outer V and then also kind of lined my lash line a little bit, added a little bit of depth there. I used a mixture of Full Moon on my lid, like kind of on this inner part. And then I also went into some of Deadly, that rusty, just beautiful metallic shade on this outside portion kind of mixed together just because I thought it was so beautiful. I even went out of my way and did the entire look using Cinch Beauty brushes because I was super excited about it, but yeah. Forgot to hit record like a freaking newbie. So also on my lips, I decided to do a little bit of a combo. I went in with the matte shade Swamp Frog first and then I added quicksand over top and I feel like it looks super, super pretty. So I'm happy with the look. I know that unfortunately you guys didn't get to see it applied, but I can tell you that everything worked beautifully. Everything went smoothly. And like I said, that's kind of what I expect from Odin's eye. They have really good consistent quality. There's only one negative thing I can mention so far out of this entire collection and it's just that the packaging is messing up for me on the trick-or-treat palette it's like starting to like bend right here and so like the palette doesn't want to close and then I have to like open it again and like kind of readjust this and like push this paper back in in order for it to close that is the only thing I've noticed but this collection is so beautiful congrats Angie I'm super super excited for you I would love to know what you guys Think of this collection if you're deciding on picking up one of the palettes or if you're gonna pick up everything. Like I said, between Little Ghost and Trick or Treat, I thought that this was gonna be my favorite, but this palette is stunning. That is everything. An unfortunately shorter video than I wanted it to be, but I hope that you guys enjoyed nonetheless. I hope the swatches were all helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.